Well, I, I became uh, interested in mountaineering when, when I was very, very young. And uh, there was no mountaineering activity in Chile as it there is here in the Alps, you know. So you had to sort of find, fend for yourself and find it. So gradually started climbing, learn about climbing. And finally, when we started or we wanted to go outside, there was nobody to go to. So we invented our own expeditions and so I became by necessity leader of those expeditions and, and that taught me a lot about leadership and change and, and how to deal with, with teams. You did the red thread uh, between all the sessions. Why did you accept to have this role? <laughs> well there's, there's two sides to that. One is that I was leaving for Everest and when they asked me I thought anything is easier than Everest so I accepted. Then I found it was much more difficult than climbing Everest, doing the red thread. But um, no, the reason, the true reason I accepted is because I, I've, I've been to these seminars before, and, and to Zermatt actually before. And sometimes things are lost. It's so many, so much content, so much uh, passion, and so much discussions that I think some of the key points are lost in, in too many. So if we could help, you know, defining the the key issues that we need to put forward in order to move a uh, common good ahead, uh, if I could help for that, I, I, I think you know, it's, it's good doing.